More than 10,000 children in Minnesota are in foster care, and about 90% of those kids have a good chance to be reunited with their biological families. But the remaining 1,000 kids are wards of the state waiting to be adopted. A nonprofit run by a Robbinsdale woman plays an important role in helping those kids find adoptive families. Here she is. I love this girl. In this age of digital technology. This is Abby. I think she's 17 now. Casey Stanley of Robbinsdale has become somewhat of an internet influencer. She got her nails done the day we did her shoot. <laughs> Yet she's not using the web to promote a product. Instead, she's trying to sell people on the idea of adopting foster children. There is this huge line of families to adopt babies. If you want a baby, you're waiting five to seven years, you're paying twenty to forty thousand dollars. This long, long, long line of people waiting for babies. And then there's this long, long line of kids with no families. Stanley wants people to realize that those older kids need families too. My friends would describe me as nice, funny. And cool. So she started a nonprofit organization called the Real Hope Project in 2016. Essentially, what we do is we make videos of kids in foster care in Minnesota who are waiting to be adopted. Since 2016, the Real Hope Project has made 89 videos that showcase who these children are their likes and dislikes, and their personalities. One of the things that's really hard about adopting is when you start learning about a kid, usually the first thing you learn is like all the hard things, all the negative behaviors that they might have or any trauma they've been through. And so it's really helpful to have something that reminds you like, oh yeah, she's still a kid, you know, and she's like a goofball and she's funny. Many of the kids they feature are teenagers. I mean, every kid needs a family, regardless of how old they are. You know, family is forever and, and kids need family for their whole lives. Stanley and her team work with different counties, social workers, and adoption agencies to put together these two-minute videos. So our goal is to make a video for every kid in Minnesota who's waiting to be adopted. There's about a thousand kids in our state. It's a lofty goal, but in the three years since the company was yeah. started, they've matched about 45 kids with families who are moving toward adoption. They deserve families, and so when you get to have that kind of impact and stick with a kid through their whole life, um, you get to see some pretty cool things happen. And Stanley and her husband are close to becoming adoptive parents themselves. They met a child on a video shoot back in September and decided to begin the adoption process.